If we can accept that everything around us is an energy, then we can accept that energy can be a positive or negative force. When we tap into positive energy, we raise our vibration and the vibration of humankind and Mother Earth at the same time. If we choose to vibrate with nature with respect to all living beings and do no harm, then we're in tune with positive energy. If we choose to allow our minds to be dominated with destruction, war, murders, rapes, human trafficking, exploitation, physical and mental abuse, and the list continues, then we are vibrating at a low frequency and paying attention to negative energy. There are many entities that seek to divide humanity, maintain us in a low energy with a low vibration and therefore keep us in negativity. Our minds and thoughts absorb what we see. If we see something we perceive to be negative, then our mind will focus on that. Energy attracts energy, just as in the saying, like attracts like. If we dwell on negative thoughts, then this is negative energy and we are attracting more of the same. If we concentrate on positive thoughts, then we attract positive energy. Focusing on positive energy doesn't mean that negative energy doesn't exist. It certainly does. Even when we focus on positive energy, we'll still have bad days. That's inevitable. None of us are perfect or we wouldn't be here. The test is how we deal with those negative energies, how we can turn a negative into a positive. Negative thoughts and actions have a consequence, as do positive ones. The great creator is listening. If you want to focus on wars, arguments, getting revenge and negative activities, then the great creator, or the universe if you prefer, will hear you. Not only does the universe hear you, it will give you what you are focusing on and more, since the universe concentrates on abundance. If you want an abundance of negativity, since that's your focus, then that's what you'll get. If you want an abundance of positivity, then think positive, say positive and do positive, and the universe will listen, such is the law of attraction. Places, areas and countries also hold energies. Where an atrocity has occurred, which is negative in the extreme, then the energy from that atrocity will linger, giving a negative vibration and feel to the place. The negative energy is in control and the balance of energies is out of whack, so to speak. Those who are sensitive will feel these energies. With love and light in our hearts, we can change this negative energy into positive, restoring harmony and balance at the same time, just like yin and yang. Our ancestors knew this. They saw humanity united and not divided, all living together peacefully in tune with Mother Nature. We've just forgotten about it in our busy lives in today's world. The funny thing is, it's already done and we already live in peace and harmony. We just have to see it.